Yes. Yes, Kaon, Namaste. Thank you. Namaste. I'm going to get started in just a second. Master one and all. Master means I bow to the divinity in you. My name is Pastor Dr. Cleveland W. Enius III, also known as Kahun Anku Sarah. And as always, we are grateful to have you here with us via Zoom uh, around the world from Nassau, Bahamas, the Holy Coptic Church of the Black Messiah, the Bahamas branch, it's our weekly Monday scriptural study, and we are a teaching church, so we encourage you to have your Bibles, we encourage you to have notebooks, we encourage you to take your notes the best way you can so that this information is not just for mere entertainment, but you can actually utilize it after tonight's scriptural study, whereby you will be able to further, we pray, understand, dare we say, overstand scriptures, scriptures from an African perspective. Holy Coptic Church is the ancient African church. We are the church that gave way, or ultimately, uh, where the Catholic Church borrowed its template and then began to move about the world as if they received the template from some mystical God from on high. When in truth, it is our records, it is our original scriptures that have allowed Christendom as well as Judaism today, as well as Islam today, as well as religion on the whole has a lot to thank or at least respect Africa for. Can I get an amun? Can I get a mic check? I want to make sure everybody's here with us tonight before we dive in. Amun. 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 Beautiful. Amun. So tonight we're going to be looking into the King James Version of the Scriptures. We're going to be looking into the original books of the Bible because very important that we as a people understand what day and time we're in. You don't know what day and time you're in. You don't recognize the opportunities that you have to take control of your destiny. So many times we complain about what is taking place on the planet as if we don't have any real control, as if we don't have any real power. But you do have power. Everybody say, I have power. I have, I have power. power. I have power. The power in me. The power in me. The power in me. Is the most high. Is the most high. high. Heavenly uh, one. Heavenly one. Heavenly one. Heavenly one. And the most high heavenly one within the Holy Coptic Church, for those who may not be familiar with the name Enere, those who, who would wish to pronounce that word. Let's just say that together. And nay, Ray. That a nay, Ray is the divine that is outside of what we call the realm of God, is outside of the realm we call angels, is outside the realm we call religion. Most of heavenly one, and nay, Ray is the cause that gave way to the cause that gave way to effect. Most of heavenly one and Nere is outside of the boundless universes. Most of heavenly one and Nere is an eternal mental precept principle 
that dwells within all of its creation. I say it's because it is our mother, father, the most heavenly one, and they rate. And the most heavenly one, through the mercy, through its mercy, has guided us by way of these original books of the Bible. We have our Basesh, how to Hotep talk, our Koptic Pope, our Gabriel in this day and time, who has made an effort to stir us, who's made an effort to quicken our spirit, who's made an effort to have us put on the proper spectacles the African glasses, so to speak, that we can see the scriptures through our eyes. No longer shall we utilize the scriptures of the Greco-Romans. No longer shall we utilize the scriptures of the Armenians. No longer shall we utilize the scriptures of the pale Arab Emirate. No longer shall we use the Hindu scriptures, but we have our own. Amun? Amun. Amun. Today we're going to be looking at a topic that I know for me for many years it puzzled me until I was blessed like you are to come into the fold of the Holy Gupta Church of the Black Messiah whereby I was able to ask the questions that some of you may ask tonight as it regards this biblical character known as Noah. And it never made sense to me, as I'm sure probably it never made sense to you after you began to think about it, because at one point I think we all believed it. But the idea that this one man could take his entire family, his wife and, and three children and or three sons and their wives onto this ark and put every animal that we see in the world today on this ark in order to save humanity, as well as save the animals that could not swim. And this is the story that many of our brothers and sisters today believe in. And because they too have the most heavenly one and they ray within them, it is their right to believe such. Amun? Amun. 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 However, just as we allow them to accept what they accept, we ask them to allow us to accept what we accept. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. Yes, I'm on. And so today we're going to begin in the King James Version of, of, of the Bible. I pray that you have your Bible. You should have your Bible, or you can pull it up on, online, but you should have access to, to your Bible. Because I want to just look at the perspective that many of us have grown to or learned about from the various churches or, or schools or just simply being around family. And I'm going to go into the Blue Letter Bible. I'm going to share the screen. Just so let me know when you See the screen, please. And it's important that those who may not be aware of, of how we as the Holy Coptic Church, how we operate, Basesh, how the whole chapter taught us that language is key. What do you say, language? Language is key. It's key. It's key. And so we're going to look at these scriptures based on questions that I know people will have. I pray that you do have questions because we're going to spend some time going through the scriptures and then we're going to open the floor for questions. Amun? And so... Well, we can see the board. It's just pulling up the uh, strong concordance right now. Yeah, we can see it. Okay. And so... This Noah, one of the very interesting things about Noah is that Noah was perfect in his generations, which means that he was as perfect as could be. 
according to the scriptures. We look in Genesis 6, chapter 6, verse 8, it reads, But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. This is important because today many of our brothers and sisters throughout Christendom would tell us that they don't live under the law, but they live by way of grace. How many people have heard that before? Yes. Yes, yes. Yet here we have in the Old Testament, which is the portion of the Bible that ultimately found the people living in this day and time, living under the law. We find those people living under the law, but still finding grace in the eyes of the Lord. And this is important because we as true Christians, we as Atonus Christians, we know that true grace or atonement or this, this caress consciousness that the Most High Heavenly One has allowed for us to be able to embrace in this day and time is a grace whereby we no longer have to follow in the ways of a pep zuin. We, don't, we no longer have to follow this beast man, this beast woman, this beast society. And this Noah in the King James Version of the Bible, it is saying that he just like we have turned away from the lawlessness. What lawlessness, some people may ask. Let's just pause and just clarify the reality of what is taking place in this chapter. We go a couple of verses up. When we are in Genesis chapter 6, verse 5, it reads, And God, this word God, they say it's, it's capital with all G's. I mean, it, it, it has capitalization with G-O-D, right? Not just the G is capital, right? This word God is the word they say Yehovah. And this Yehovah, they say is Jehovah or the existing one. They say the proper name of the one true God, unpronounced except with the vowel pointings. So this Yod, hey, wav, hey, you see here in the Hebrew is really what it's saying there in the Hebrew. And they've added in the words Jehovah. They've added in the word Yahovah. But this God was very upset with humanity at this point in time. Now, this is the same humanity that he created. God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord, it repented the Lord that he had made man on earth and it grieved him at his heart. So that's kind of interesting because this is the same God that they say does not make mistakes. I mean, people have heard that before. That's right. All the time. Well, this perfect God is repenting that he had made man because man had become so wicked. However, there was one that was not wicked, which means that there was an understanding of wickedness versus that which is not wicked or was not wicked. And Noah chose not to live a wicked way of life, just like we as Atonus Christians are choosing not to live a wicked, twisted way of life, whereby herein lies the truth. In all the lies, yes, there, there, there are truths, but the reality is we are free by knowing the truth. John 8.32. So it goes on. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations. Again, and Noah walked with God. So because Noah turned away from the wickedness of humanity at that time and turned towards the most heavenly one, Noah was allowed to walk with God. And Noah begot three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And then it goes on to say the earth was also corrupt before God. And the earth was filled with violence. 
interesting. The word earth here, as we go into the Strong's Concordance, and again, language is key, so we're just going to take our time and look at certain key words before we dive into the original books of the Bible, because we want you to understand that the original books of the Bible, the Barashit, the African book of Genesis, is the African uncorrupted, truly holy, undiluted version of the scriptures, although it be translated into English. And I say that because we will learn it in the Tamaraic as well, in our original language. This word, Eretz, Eretz, they say it's a female or feminine noun, land, earth, old earth, a country, a territory, a district, a region. So this doesn't only mean, as it's saying here, the whole earth. It could also mean a country. Remember this now. Put this in your notes because this is going to be very important as we go into the original books of the Bible. It's a territory, tribal territory, a piece of ground, people of a land, space or distance of a country. All right? Often in contrast to Canaan. Interesting. Often in contrast to Canaan. These Canaanites are the purveyors of the wickedness on this planet as we find scripturally. We can get into that at another time, but the reality of the situation is this Eretz was a territory. God looked upon earth and behold, it was corrupt. All flesh had corrupted. All flesh had corrupted. Pardon me, slip down. And God looked upon the earth and behold, it was corrupt for all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. So there was a way that existed. There was a way that existed. And this way allowed Noah to find grace in the eyes of the Lord, to find grace in the, eye, the, the eyes of the Adonai, of the Atonai, of the, of the Atonist. Because they'll ask us, well, where's this word atonus in the Bible? The word atonus is all through your Bible. They just wrote it as the word Lord. They took the word Lord from the word Adonai, and the Adonai becomes the Atonai or the Atonus. This word Derek or Tarek. A way, the road, the distance, the manner. It's a way that we live Christianity, which is why we say we're true Christians. We don't merely follow the real and living Messa Yahshua Christ, we live like the real and living Messa Yahshua Christ, whereby we can do even greater things than he did. Amon? Amon. 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 This way is a moral character. This way is a course of life. Yes? This way, they say, is a road, figuratively, a course of life or mode of action, often adverb, along, away, because of, by, Conversation. By what? Conversation. That's what we're doing tonight. We're having a conversation. And that's why we expect you to participate because we're not going to be teaching at you. We're, we're, we're here with you. Come on. Come on. It says a custom, a, 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 a eastward journey, a, a manner, a passenger, eastward. You're moving away from the Western ideals. You're moving away from the beast. It says you're a passenger because this, this doctrine, it learns you as much as you think you're learning it. It's learning you. Come on. And so there, there was a way that was being followed and many of the inhabitants of the planet at that time, just like in today's latter days, are not interested in that way. And so it is said or it is taught that this God, because he was so upset with everybody that he decided he was just going to save Noah, verse 13. And God said unto Noah, the end of all flesh has come. I'm pissed off. <laughs> I made something that's supposed to be perfect and it's not perfect. I'm pissed off before me. For the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth, utilizing the forces of this planet. That's what we're going through right now. 
So then this guard says to, to, to Noah, make thee an ark of gopher wood. Rooms shalt thou make in the ark and shall pitch it within and without the pitch. And it goes into the explanation of how the ark should be built. And then it says, a covenant will be established. I will establish a covenant and thou shalt come into the ark. Genesis 6, 18. So this ain't no free ride. Hmm? This is not a free ride. You're going you're gonna to have to say what it is. You, you're going to pay with your life. I don't mean you're going to die. I mean you're going to sacrifice. Huh? I mean you're going to have to now put down some of the aspirations that this world taught you to have for the betterment of the whole. I'm not saying we're going to be broke. I'm not saying we're going to suffer. We're simply saying... We're simply saying, can I still be heard? Yes, we hear you. Yes. Okay, beautiful. Just making sure. All right. The reality of this situation is that the sacrifices that we're going to have to make are the sacrifices that have been made for us. Too often we take advantage of sacrifices that others have made for us without thinking about the sacrifices that have been made on our behalf. Amon. And so this, this, this Noah, he was 